So we're going to talk about the standard deviation. We've set a lot of information up already. These are the values they've given us, okay? We know that there are 10 values. The first step to finding standard deviation, we have to find the mean. And the mean is the sum of all of the data added together divided by the number of data. So we'll work together to find the mean. It's not the hardest process. I want you to do it with me. Take out your calculator there. I'll add them all up in this one. We'll add up our 10 terms. divided by 10, I think this would be 162.5. Tell me what you get when you go through. 162.5. Okay, good. 162.5. So we're relatively confident we did the mean properly. Okay, so we have that. The very next step to standard deviation is we want to take all of the data, so I've set it up in columns, and we want to subtract it from the mean. Okay, so we're going to subtract all of these from our 162.5. 162.5, and I'm just going to use quotations to mimic the same thing over and over. We will continuously do that to get a value, okay? And our value, I've written it under x minus x bar, x being the data, x bar being the mean. So we're going to have to do this individually. Now, I think some of them we might be able to get away with doing our head, but get our calculator out, and I want you to just check along as I go. I'll do these values in green. This one I think should be 40 negative 42.5. This one should be 17.5. No, it's a lot harder now that I made the quotations. Um, this one should be negative 10.5. Have you made any errors yet? No. Okay. This one, negative 8.5. Negative 5.5. Um, this one should be 0.5. Yeah. This one will be 3.5. This one will be 6.5. Hmm. This one will be 70. 20. What is it? 35.5. Yeah, and this one should be 36.5. Great. So we've taken all of those values. The next step here, the next one, is to square all of those values. Okay, so we're going to square all these. Now, this one's obviously I'm going to need to calculate for. Now, the lucky thing is, even though they're negatives, we're still going to get positive values as we go through these. Okay, so let's, um, do you want to read them to me as we go through? And we'll do these ones in red here. Squared values. Do you want to type that in? 42.5 squared in your calculator? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so Okay. Um, you do the third one, I'll do the next one on my calculator, so try not one one of these off on your own. Okay. What did you get for Did you get two five when you did it? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. What did you get for that one? Uh one hundred and ten. <laughs> So this is a bit of tedious. Jump ahead to the 5.5. I have the next one, 72.25. 30.25. Okay. 30.25. Okay. I'll do the 0.5, you do the 3.5. And this should be 0.25. 5.25. Mm -hmm. Do the 35.25, I'll do the 6. And the last one. Okay, so now that we've done all this, this is our result. We got to take all of these values, and we have to find the sum of them. Okay, so we're going to sum them up all here. We're going to add all of these things together. Okay, and that's what that means, the sum of all of those values. So take our calculator and we'll try to sneak through this. You try to follow along with me, okay? Um, oops. 1806.25 plus 
206.5 plus 4,972.5. 4,972.5. Is that what you got? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay, good. You're much faster. Okay. So from here, because we're doing a sample, okay, our formulas are a little different. This is for a sample deviation, and we have to take our, when we divide our value at the end, we'll have to divide it by n minus 1. And because there were 10 terms, our n minus 1 is 9. And for our variance, so for our variance, we don't have to square root our values. So we just take this answer here, the sum of everything, and divide it by our value of 9. So we take this guy here, divided by 9 gives us 552.5. So our variance, 552.5, okay. And then to find the standard deviation, we square root the variance. So we take this variance and square root it, 23 approximately 23.5 so approximately or 23 what did I say 0.5 so we've now found the standard deviation which is a long process it's, it's a bit tedious to find